Listen up, Raiders. Welcome to the Geek Chest. My name is Steve. You got me all the way in this corner. Scooch your boots, Steve. Uh, it doesn't scooch so anymore. Violent. Yeah. Yeah. My name's Ernest. And today we're unboxing the NECA Godzilla King and the Monsters. We're only unboxing one. God, not two. Two's too many for one video. Why do we have two? You know why we have two, Steve? Because you're going to review one, <laughs> and I'm going to review one. Two videos. Winning. Sure. <laughs> the views, man. Um... Well, if we're doing that, then there's no point in doing a boxing, right? Like, we just do the reviews. <laughs> Sweet, let's get this over with. Um, I think the initial why we have two is uh, NECA sent us one, and then we got one to do a giveaway. Was that it? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, as, if you guys are watching this, make sure you're subscribed to uh, The Geek Chess. Uh, make sure to comment down below if you're interested, and we'll pick a winner when we do the uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters review. We'll have a winner in that video. So make sure to watch, pay attention for that review because it should be out shortly after the movie comes out. Yeah. It's pretty much like game plan is Thursday, like Friday. We'll hopefully have the video out. Uh, so definitely uh, look for it then. But anyways, uh, we're going to get into it. Uh, God, which one did NECA send us again? I forget. That one that I gave you. Yeah, I think NECA was the one that was like looking down slightly. Yes. And then... The one that looks like it's drugged out of its mind is the one that Ernest decided See, to pick up for uh, giving mind. away. Anyways, <laughs> so we're going to box both of these here uh, to check them out. Also to see, because we have seen some um, photos on the internet that sometimes don't make this guy look favorable. So we decided to get two just to uh, get the best possible variety. Where the heck did I put the knife? Hold on. I see a screwdriver here. That's good enough. But I got the knife, Steve. It was on the box. Fine. Your, your dog was chewing Watch out. Oop, and I dropped the mic. All right. Uh, is, it, is it actually taped? I'm like, oh, there it is. It's in the corner here. All right, you know what? I'll let you open this one. Oh, I get mine one? Yeah, you get your own Godzilla to open. Uh, the review for this one, even though we know we said that we um, are moving long form reviews over to the Geek Chest, uh, this one's going to uh, super because of prior commitments. It smells so good. Hey, look, Steve, they gave instructions for uh, dummies. You know, I kind of appreciate that, right? Because you get so many people that ask, like, how to insert these, and right, bam, right there, hot water. Well, they say warm water. I, I usually use hot, but I guess warm water could probably work. I think it would take a little longer, though, with warm water. God, my smell's so bad. Well, in a good way. Of course, it smells. It's. <laughs> Brand new toy open out the package. That's the best kind of smell. Also, these twisty ties are a nightmare. There's only one this time. Thankfully, yeah, it was like the tail's just kind of chilling in the back. It looks like there's a little plastic peg holding it into place. Uh, I always feel like I needed more of a college education sometimes to try to figure out how these twisty ties went on. Whoever does this is just <laughs> laughing at the factory right now. Just laughing at it. <laughs> it's just kind of how they get their jollies, right? Be like, how twisty can I make this twisty tie? God, there's so many noises. There we go. Got mine out. All right. Godzilla is out. Tail. Sort of. Hit, hit, maybe. Bam. All right. We're good. Just going to pull everything on the water. Look, ooh, what's kind of neat. This isn't a bendy wire. First thing I'm noticing out of the box. Also, the ball joint's on this tail. It's not in the stump. This is weird, Steve. <laughs> I was like, it's a little odd. Kind of liking it, though. Oh, God, do I have to go warm it up in water? Because I don't... Oh, yeah, you might... Have... What's happening? Oh, wait, I can't do this one because that's the one we're giving away. You can do whatever you feel like, man. You want to see how mine came out of the package, Steve? Huh. <laughs> uh, all right, we got to reattach his arm. <laughs> Damn break, it just kind of popped up. Oh, Okay, oh, hold on. <laughs> that one, that one's got some issues. <laughs> you just noticed, huh? Uh, 
Alright, I'm gonna have to pause the video real quick. Uh, I gotta go, um... Uh, get a hair dryer or something. Yeah, I got a heat gun chilling underneath the... <laughs> chilling under the desk. We'll, do, we'll get this guy attached in no time. Three seconds or less. Alright, so open up out of his prison. Um... I'm gonna say, this was not bad in terms of the face. I kinda wish he wasn't looking... Oh, this is the... Oh, this is the one. This is the other one, right? His, his eyes a little more open to that side. Yep. That, that's the one that we bought. Yeah, this one's teeth's a little, little bit too excessive. It's kind of like with the eyes too. The eyes are a little bit. I just think the white was full. a bad choice. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's maybe like if it was like yellow or something. I don't think it would be nearly as noticeable. But also like. You clean that up with just a little bit of like pavement articula like um acrylic paint, the pavement coloring, like that'd look really good. Also blend really nice. It's just like oh god, like that one eye, like he's ready. <laughs> I don't know what he's been snorting, but he is ready. For, here's a, here's he's ready a, for to party. Here's a face expression made on yours. Take a look at it. <laughs> <You're> right. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> It's not that, like, compared to what we've seen, this isn't too bad. Uh, for the most part, from the ones, uh, we also found the, uh, seen some at our Target, too. We were kind of checking them out. Yeah. Uh, they're not bad. No. Like, for the most part, like, uh, outside of, like, the like, there's one I see on Facebook that was like, oh, my God. <laughs> I don't think it's really that bad, especially since we're getting Mothra and Rodan. No. He'll so if, so if you have them looking... Uh, Oh, never mind. They'd be flying around. <laughs> I was going to say, if you're going to have like standing on your shelf, they're not going to be too bad. But then again, they're going to be on pegs. So you kind of want him to be able to look up at them. Which, like, this one would be a little bit better for that. But then again, if you want to have him, like, set up with, like, buildings and stuff, he's, he's already looks like he's, like, trying to avoid all the buildings. Looking you know, down. One positive thing is the spines they did. They look really good. Oh, the spines look fantastic. A little shiny on this one. Right down there, but they almost kind of look like wood. Look at the other one. Yeah, this one's a little shiny, too. Huh. That's a little odd. Nothing too crazy. Paint job's really nice, though. He's got, like, a more um, brown color scheme. With a lighter brown over top to give him a nice shading. You know why this is the shot when he comes from the mountain, you know? Uh, One thing that's consistent between the two, though, is you can see with the tails... The tip of the tail is not quite the same coloring as what you see with the base, from what I'm telling, or seeing. Overall, he's not bad. Yeah, the paint on the cloth. Ah, I don't know if I like the coloring for the nails, though. What is that color? Um, uh, Poopy brown? <laughs> it kind of looks like he's playing, playing in the mud a lot. Yeah. That's what I mean. That's yeah, like, he's just like, like, isn't it just kind of this kind of general? He just looks really dirty. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's the shot. He's been playing in the, the sandbox. Yeah, kind of. Maybe like he's like rising out of the ground or something. Out of the uh, Godzilla versus the thing. Yeah. Oh, perfect skit. He's going to be playing in a sandbox, Steve. Um, do I, Is there a sandbox around here? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I know there's a park over there. I don't think there's a sandbox, though. Perfect. I'm having like going down the slide and everything. Yeah. <laughs> this one would be perfect because he already looks like he's game for anything. He's got the game face, man. It's pretty articulated, though. Arms go out. Single jointed elbows. Hands can go forward and back. I kind of wish I had the original NECA to compare them to. It's kind of weird that this is a joint, but you can kind of see that, that, ain't, that that's not going anywhere. But tip of the head moves pretty freely. Kind of playing around with them a bit. He, he's got good articulation for how bulky he is. Yeah, like these only go forward and back. It doesn't feel like they go outwards. Which is not a big deal. Legs, in and out, feet, rotate. I like the tail though. I like that they're uh, keeping up with the ball joints. Like they did with the uh, 62 Godzilla. Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it so far. Like so outside of like the eyes and the teeth maybe could be a little bit better. Inside mouth looks cool. Like this one's <laughs> just like how wide eyed this one is. He snorted a line that was bigger than uh I'm telling you. It's also the way his like mouth kinda goes in too. He's just like 
He's ready. Reminds me of that T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like that one a lot more than I thought it would, the one with the eye. But again, we'll have this guy up over for on Super Unimportant Review sometime in the near future for the official review. Pretty stoked for the Mothra still. God, I've seen the Monster Arts ones too. I can't, I can't wait for that one to come out. But this one will definitely uh, tide me over till then, I think. Get, yeah, he'll keep us busy. Get to play around with them. Kind of wish he had a beam, though. We're getting one with a beam, but I don't really like the blue on it, so... I have to figure something out. I don't know. Like, I feel like this dirty look to him will suit him. It, like, it looks to me a lot better than uh, like the previous blue stuff that they had, you know? I will say, I like this one more than the old 2014. Like, the old 2014 was a nice figure, but it was really bland looking. Yeah. Like, like even the large one isn't very doesn't have much color variety. Like at least this one has something, you know. Yeah, he's got a lot more going on, like the eyes. God, she's just, just like looking at it from the front. Don't you make fun of him? It's terrifying. Like even this one, I guess it like it makes him intimidating. <laughs> like, like that scares me. Yeah, like I said, <laughs> overall it's, it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Yeah, like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not hating it. Especially like side angles, I think it works fine. The front, I don't know, it's, it's just the eyes are so bright. I, that's really what it is. I don't think it's like the shape of the eyes. Because looking at it, like the paint doesn't go that far over them. No, it's just it's it's, the, like the whole package kind of thing. Yeah, it's just like compared to the rest of the kaiju, they're vibrant. And I don't think they're like that in the film. <laughs> we don't know until we see it. Yeah, well, when we see trailers, you can see the eyes in there. I don't think I don't think they change. I'm gonna laugh. They did. <laughs> yeah, it's just like that's how he looks in the film. It's just bright eyed white. <laughs> but anyways, let us know in the comment section below what you guys think. If you guys are excited about the reviews, or are you guys just looking forward to the must starts? Let us know down there. And help us defeat those kaijus by hitting the like button, subscribe, and come and See you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, bye.